need a dessert in a few hours to take someplace. So the fastest thing for me to make a most elegant dessert would be a trifle. And what I do, I save all my leftovers. And I tell you this all the time, save your leftover cookies and cakes. I have some cake here. I just took out of the freezer a little bit ago. And by the time you get this someplace, it'll be all thawed out. But I'm going to take the pieces. Now you can use cookies or sponge cake, any kind. But I had a layer cake that we didn't use all of it. And I just cut it in little pieces and put it in the freezer. So I'm going to um, uh, line the bottom of this trifle bowl. Now you can, there's a couple kinds of trifle bowls. The purpose of a, of a trifle bowl is so that it's clear and you can see the pretty layers through it. Now I'm going to just kind of crumble some around here to fit in all the pieces at the bottom to line the whole bottom. And if you save your leftovers, you'll always be ready to make one. Um, now the next thing, I've got some raspberries that I took out of the freezer. And they're just barely thawed also. And I'm going to put the raspberries on top. And you want to put them around the edges so that when you look at it, you can see the different colors of the trifle. I'm going to use. Um, I had some cream cheese in the refrigerator and I wanted to use this package up before it got any older. And I, put, I whipped it up with a little cream and I put um, some, a little milk with it to make it smooth. You just want to spread it over so you can see the white on the edge. Now I've got the cream cheese uh, mixture spread in there, so I'm going to put another layer of cake. If you're not in a real big hurry, you can kind of Take your time and lay it around the edges so that when you're all finished, you'll be able to see the nice layers.
want to try to keep the the glass nice and clean also. Okay, now after that, I've got some pudding that I made yesterday, and I'm going to put some of this pudding through it. Now you can use, um, if you're in a hurry and you want to use pudding, you can make some instant pudding. If you have a box in your cabinet, just use that. The different flavors just makes it really good, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Like I said, there's not a recipe for this. Uh, you just use what you have. And I like to use things that, like the fruits and stuff, that you may have had in your refrigerator too long or in the freezer. You just want to use them up before they get bad. And the more flavors you have in, I think, makes it really good. any kind. You could use uh, chocolate or butterscotch or anything you have. Okay. There, I've got the pudding spread in here. So I think the next thing I'm going to put in are some strawberries. I've got the strawberries lined up here, so I'm going to take the rest of the cake. As you can see, these make uh, enough for a crowd. crumbs in there. Okay, next thing I have are some sliced peaches I have here. So I'm going to take and line them up around the edges. get them around the edges you can just fill in the center. juice here. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of the juice to soak up the cake. You don't want too much, but a little bit just gives it more flavor. Now the last thing I'm going to add, which I always have, I like whipped cream in all of them. So I usually keep um, the heavy cream in the refrigerator so I can just whip it whenever I need it. So I'm going to pile the whipped cream in here on top.
think I'd like a little bit more whipped cream to make it look really nice. So I'm going to whip some more up. Okay, I've whipped up a little bit more whipped cream. It only takes you like two minutes. And it's so worth having enough because you don't want, want it to look skimpy if you're going to take it to a gathering. You want it to look nice and, and filled. and spread it to the edges and then we'll clean the edges off before we take it. So I put a little bit of sugar with the whipped cream when I whip it so it and a little bit of vanilla so it'll have a good flavor to it. Just gonna swirl the top here a little bit. Then I think you can top it with cherries or uh, whatever you have, but I have some um, strawberries here that are pretty nice looking. Let's pick one of these out. And I'm just going to slice it and make a fan out of it and put it on top. I left the green on it for a, to make it look a little prettier. We'll just top it like that and then I'm going to take a clean towel and wipe around the top and make the, um, make the bowl nice and clean. There we go. There's our trifle. What do you think?